The group, love is a verb. Greetings, I am observer. A special gathering of spirits. I look from afar with eyes filled with wonder, because what I see first is love. That is the most important connection that we can bring you, so you can see it in yourselves. We tell you, dear ones, a gathering of spirits on earth is taking place right now. Although you see difficulties every time you turn on your news, the reality is that everything is changing. Yes, change is at hand. But we are not worried, for the most incredible angels have found their way to planet earth. They are in key parts throughout the entire globe not only to carry the light and speak it aloud, but also just to hold. These angels bring the beautiful energy of home to planet earth. Closing the division gap. You are those angels, dear ones. You are those incredible beings that we love to watch from home. Although you see the higher aspects, you sometimes get wrapped up in the lower ones as all humans do. We see you as masters walking on a very dense planet. You've come in to bring the higher vibrations and templates of the new planet Earth. Bringing in love is necessary to activate those templates. It's a magical time to be here, because the reality is you're carrying something that no one else can carry in the way that you do. And that is the highest aspect of love that you have available. The bodysuit itself can be programmed. You can program it yourself, or you can allow it to be programmed by others or by default. Every advertisement that you see is actually programming your bodysuit, sometimes simply through repetition. And again, you're not here to convince anyone of something or to bring someone over to your side. Yes, we know about the division on your planet. It has been created intentionally, for humans can only be controlled if they are divided. No matter whether you talk about politics, products you buy or beliefs you hold, if you are on one side or the other then you have been divided. So, keep in mind it's incredibly important during these times not to divide yourselves. Look at the ways that you are alike rather than focusing on the ways you are different. The search for spirits. What would happen if you made eye contact with and smiled at everyone you saw? You would recognize them from home, you'd remember their spirit in some way. The reality is you're all beautiful beings from home. Bringing that energy in and reminding people who they really are sets the template for the new earth, and that is happening at an incredible pace. The earth herself, as we've mentioned, only had about 70 years of support left for humans. But she is doing everything she can to change that outcome. She's evolving in different ways to be able to support the 8 billion people who are now tipping the scales and weighing her down. You are playing a huge role, whoever you are. Now, we know some of you do not believe you are teachers. Some of you do not think you are healers or even light workers. But you would not be here right now, you would not be reading this message, if you did not have an important role to play yourself. There are many who've decided that they're done. They just want to go home, they don't want to be here any longer. But we tell you, dear ones, there are no beings on planet Earth that are here just taking up space. There's a test that you can do to see if all your contracts are finished on planet Earth and you're ready to go home. Just take a small mirror and hold it up to the bottom of your nose. If it fogs up, you're not done. It's that simple and we hope you enjoy your journey. Your natural state of prosperity. We will give you tools to try and make your lives a little more comfortable, so we'll be working with prosperity. This next year of Lightmaster will be working on creating prosperity and how to live a prosperous lifestyle, no matter what's taking place in your world with the economy. We tell you, dear ones, prosperity is the natural state of spirit but it's difficult for some humans. You've come in with these incredible gifts. You've come in as empaths, so you feel everyone's energy around you. Most of the time you take that into consideration with whatever you're doing. Will this work? Am I offending anyone or taking something away from people? 
Many times, you live a less than prosperous lifestyle for the simple reason that you feel everything. And somewhere deep down inside you believe in lack. That's the belief that if you have something or you get more of it, then you're taking it away from someone else. But that is not actually the case. The reality is when you can bring prosperity into your lifestyle in full, meaning you open it up for everyone, you create a higher vibration. This is true even in economics and especially in love. Writing a new story. To fully understand prosperity, we also ask you to know your place in this world. You've been placed here by commitment, your commitment. Yes, some of you feel like you were pushed into this life as if you really didn't want to be here. Although some of you came in kicking and screaming, you set it up for yourselves. You even set up the difficulties and challenges, because no one has a complete experience unless you rise above challenges. You're going to be able to write a new life story, dear ones, and you deserve to be happy. That's why we're giving you the modality of cognitive life path programming. This will allow you to write a purposeful story for yourself that can guide your path going forward. We see you as the greatest angels that have ever lived and we mean that wholeheartedly. You think of angels as being in heaven or at home, having a higher vibration without physical bodies. But there were quite a few beings that took off their wings and jumped into a field of density to be here at this exact moment. And here you are. Welcome home, dear ones, we can't wait to see what you do next. As we've mentioned, there is a portal open on planet Earth which was supposed to close. We do believe you're on the planet of free choice. Every time we've spoken about this portal, we've asked you one question, how much love can you hold? You're doing well and you need to know that. It is with the absolute greatest pleasure that I come to you in this way. I ask you to treat each other with the highest respect, to nurture one another at every opportunity, and to play well together. It's a beautiful game. I am observer and I like to watch, Espavo. Greetings dear ones, I am Merlia. The Free Choice Equation. I join you with great pride. From our perspective on the far side of the veil, we watch everything you're doing with amazement. You are on the planet of free choice, which means you do not have a set standard that you follow. You're able to change things throughout all of the universe in a moment. Dear ones, you are not alone. There are many beings that are working together with you, evolving to the next levels the same as you. Planet Earth is rather unique, for it was the only planet of free choice until you started evolving in this way. Now, of course, there are several other planets of free choice. Before humans stepped up, other planets always had a predirection and could only go so far. Then that predirection would bring you back to a central truth, which everyone shared and automatically understood. But on Earth humans were able to choose freely. Love is love is love. There is one word throughout all of your scriptures, writings and music, over and over again love. And that's what I wish to speak of this day. Although many other planets in the universe have defined concepts and worked in different ways than Earth did, one is not right nor the other wrong. When you are finally able to connect and share your understanding of these things, you will be amazed. You'll find out how love is dealt with in different cultures on other planets, and how it has evolved over periods of time. Let us talk of marriage for just a moment. Marriage is not love, although hopefully love is what builds a marriage in the first place. You see, dear ones, that isn't how marriage began on planet Earth. It began as a political arrangement back in the days when a ruler would marry off his daughter or son into another powerful family, to gain power by combining families. In those days, Common folk never even thought of getting married. Isn't that interesting? Today when you speak of love, often your thoughts automatically go toward marriage. But that is only one expression of love, there are so many other ways. And with this portal open right now, 
the biggest question is how much love can you hold? How much can you express and bring into your being? It is love in all dimensions that lights up your eyes and brings out your spirit. That's what clarifies the bodysuit so the spirit can come though. Quite honestly, on planet Earth you experience conditional love just as much as you experience unconditional love. Neither is right or wrong, but simply how you have built your societal norms. Conditional love means that in order for you to love, that love must be returned or balanced in some way. And if one person loves the other more, the love relationship may not work because of the conditions placed upon it. Your belief systems about love sometimes block your experience of love, but that's about to change. We tell you this because loving openly is becoming more important for everyone. Marriage isn't going away, it's a beautiful expression of love. It's a beautiful commitment to walk hand in hand with someone, whether you're married or whether you're simply in a relationship. Monogamy itself will continue on planet Earth for some time. And yet you're starting to experience things larger than that. Polyamory is emerging and humans are starting to experience different expressions of love, even within relationships. Loving yourself. The most difficult love to express is the love of self. However, it is not possible to fully share love with another without self-love. Quite simply, know that when you love anything, you are the winner, not the person or thing that you give your love to. The gift belongs to the giver, not to the receiver. And that is the biggest thing we can tell you about love. Even your love of what you consider to be an inanimate object will benefit you personally. And, of course, there are no inanimate objects. Even the stones beneath your feet are breathing and vibrating. But what can you love unconditionally? Well, not too far from where the keeper sits is a door. It's the door to his closet and it has a doorknob. What if he fell in love with that doorknob and every time he passed that doorknob, his heart lit up a little bit? Do you think the doorknob would benefit from that? No, the keeper would be the beneficiary. He lights up because on planet Earth he has learned to carry more love with every step and that is magical. Fifth Dimensional Love We know that relationships themselves are very tricky, challenging the way humans have defined them. If the portal stays open, it is possible to see ways that other cultures have defined the expression of love and it's truly amazing. Love is love is love. The old and limiting concepts were formed in the third dimension, and you are now firmly in the fifth dimension. Yet you're still trying to use the rules of the third dimension to create your reality. The more that you work with it, the more you step into the fifth dimension. So, what does fifth dimensional love really look like? Well, dear ones, in the fifth dimension love is not a noun, it is a verb. Love is a verb. Humans experience love as a feeling, yet that is limited to third-dimensional reality. In the fifth dimension love is a practice, meaning something you practice over and over again. When you learn to love unconditionally over and over again, even your conditional relationships vastly improve. Even your vows of marriage are a set of conditions, are they not? I will love you as long as this or that. But when you truly love another spirit it lasts forever, for love itself has no limits or conditions. When love is mastered with another spirit it never fades or dies, it continues from lifetime to lifetime. But what you allow yourself to fall in love with is often determined by your belief systems. For instance, you may be in a monogamous relationship but then you meet someone and feel an instant love connection. Simply acknowledging those feelings is enough to gain the benefits of that love, without altering the conditions of your existing relationship. Humans generally have a difficult time acknowledging love without putting conditions upon it. Make a commitment to speak your love without conditions, and life will become much easier in the fifth dimension. The opposite of love. You love everyone differently, 
because each person is a different spirit or expression of the Creator through a physical body. What is love and how can you measure it? Well, dear ones, there's a very simple way to look at that. The measurement of love can also be measured by the opposite of love. How much fear do you carry? Fear is clearly the opposite of love. When you have love in your heart, you cannot carry fear. Those two elements cannot occupy the same space in your being, it simply does not work. Love always wins out, the same way that light always fills the darkness. Does that mean that if you love your enemies they will go away or somehow come over to your side? No, it's not about changing them, it's about changing you. That's the critical question, how much love can you carry? You're starting to make huge advances in your reality and that is very magical. But you're not the only ones working to keep Earth's portal open, beings of other planets are also. The portal opens up everything in the universe to love. Practicing love. Many are concerned about that in some way, thinking some of the beings from other planets come and take us over. Well, it doesn't happen with love, only with fear. So, what do you carry in your being? Do you carry love or do you carry fear? Typically, it's a mixture of both on planet Earth. But we're asking you to carry as much of the love part of it as you can. Dare to express and ground the love, dear ones. When you walk down the street and see a stranger, the challenge often is they smile at you but what do you do? Well, most of the time you look away. If you're very brave, you'll look them in the eye and smile back. You'll return and reflect their love, and that's what we're asking you to do. It doesn't mean that you have to change your relationships or step into polygamy. What it means is that you must understand love for what it truly is. Love is a practice. How can you practice love? How can you work with that in different ways? How much love you can express is what fills you up. It triggers your prosperity in the world and your own creations around you. These are grand times on planet Earth. Things are changing very rapidly and Earth is opening to new possibilities. She will not be dying, dear ones, that is not what's happening. Although humans will have increasingly difficult times, she is working very hard to change that outcome. In July of this year, you set new records for heat on planet Earth. Some of you may be thinking that it isn't any hotter than before where you live. But if you look at the overall temperature of Earth, the first 16 days of July set new records. Every day you're starting to move further out of the safety of the Holocene and toward an increase in temperature. Once the Earth's temperature changes 1.5 degrees, Nothing will ever be the same again, and it's going to be very difficult to maintain life in the same way. But how can you change it? It all begins with love. You're connected to Earth the same way that the trees are connected. The same way it is at home, where everything is connected to everything else. You are one, you're not separate from each other. Here, you take off your wings and put on the bodysuit. You come to planet Earth to pretend that you are separate from each other, but you're not. Dare to find those connections and you'll step into the higher vibrations of the fifth dimensional expression of love. It is time, dear ones. Remember that love is a practice. And it's a verb, not a noun. Welcome home, we love you dearly. Yet sometimes those words are misconstrued when you place a sexual reference to them that was never meant to be there. Love is from the heart, not from the sex organs. When you understand that, dare to tell people how much you love them without being fearful. During the Keeper's private sessions, people often say something like, Oh, I lost my father and I wish I would have told him that I loved him more. I wish I would have been able to really express my heart before he passed. I was not able to be there at the end. They have this tremendous guilt about not speaking of their love. So, speak about it now and don't wait. You can raise the vibration of everyone around you simply by falling in love. 
Look into the hearts, minds and eyes of all those around you and know that your connection is from home. You're here with a purpose, for many of you have traveled backwards in time to be here at this exact moment. How much love can you carry? Welcome home, dear ones. We ask you to simply treat each other with respect, and fall in love as often as you can. Nurture one another at every opportunity and play well together in this new game. I am Merlia, come up and see me sometime. Espavo. The group.